Hi, welcome to Aberystwyth Watch. I'm Chris Steer. And I'm Chris Pickford. There are plenty of things going on in the studio today, so let's go out of the studio to Simon Barber for Weather Watch. Thanks, Chris. I'm here this morning at the top of Mount Constitution at the crack of dawn. Mount Constitution, of course, named after our first mayor, Mayor Constitution. Uh, I'm, I'm studying here today volcanoes. I was told it would be a warmer climate as last week. I've, I've been ill uh, from a mix of pneumonia, hypothermia, uh, influenza, a crab to the testicles and water in the lungs. So here I am in a safer and warmer environment, or so I'm told. I'm studying volcanoes today. As you may well know, uh, all, all hills and mountains are volcanoes, be it dormant, active or extinct and of course they could erupt at any moment. That's what I'm here to find out this morning. Will Mount Constitution erupt within the next 24 hours? It seems likely. We'll find out soon. I've been Simon Barber. This has been cold. I'm going for my first tea of the morning. Thank you very much. Back to you in the studio. Muchas gracias, Simon. Continuing where we left off last week, we'll be looking into Aberystwyth's underworld now. In particular, gun crime. Gun crime has most certainly definitely affected every one of you watching at home, whether you know it or not. Here, we can see some gun crimes going on on CCTV. As we can see here, a perfectly normal quiet house, until an intruder breaks in. Watch the gun slipping through the window. Here we see a knife walking down the street, probably going to meet his mother. Two guns ruthlessly attack him, ripping him to pieces and then running off to his mother. Here we see a gun binging on alcohol and prostitutes. They do all the positions. And here we see a Glock 17 doing the longest line of cocaine in history. You've just seen the evidence with your very own eyes, and you're probably asking yourself with your very own brains, why haven't these guns been brought to justice? I'll tell you why. Because no one has the stones to go up to these guns in person and take them down. That's where I come in. I'm going to don a fitting disguise, blend into Abristov's underworld, and I'm going to take them down. What you're going to see next may shock and surprise you. Don't worry, it's only me. You probably thought I was a hardened criminal for a moment, didn't you? Well, I'm just going to go and break the biggest case in history. Here I am, deep undercover. Let the operation begin. Yo, gee, have you got any crack? You want some crack? Sorry, can you just say that a bit louder for the microphone? Is that a camera? Go. Get well soon, me. Thanks, me. I guess the next gun that turns to crime will get a stopper in his shaft. Now over to Chris for the news headlines. Thanks, Chris. And now on to current news. Okay, first of all we have Parking Nightmare goes on for residents. Uh, I had a nightmare once, didn't get reported on the average with news, move on. Okay, next we have red tape, costs Aberystwyth with £600,000 in funding, it's tape! Anyway, and finally, we have woman to chance to put 75 sheep in every loft. Well, here at the Aberystwyth Watch studio, we put one sheep in our loft, and uh, this is what happened. Gripping. And now to Chris for current affairs. Cheers, Chris. Now we have a report on the new nightclub opening up in Aberystwyth. It replaces Yoko's Club. It's called Studs, owned by Mr. Stud. I, uh, I think we all know what that's going to be like. I really can't wait to venture down there at some point in the future. And now on to Simon. For part two of Weather Watch, where things are really starting to heat up. 
Thanks, Chris. As you can see, I'm round here on the west face of Mount Constitution now, where seismic activity is certainly strong, and I can feel the heat coming up through my feet. It's moving up through my ankles, up through my shins, and into my knees, and I feel like one of those thermometers, those human thermometers that you see on the Channel 5 News and on the, key, on the kids' TV shows. I feel like that, and I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. I don't think I'm the only one. Now, the professor here, you probably can't see, is invisible, has told me that any lava that comes out of the volcano will be channeled down through the funicular railway and into the sea, where they can do battle. Now, that's fine with me, but I have to say I'm still nervous. I'm looking at the, into the distance, I can see some smoke. It's just one of the members of staff having a cigarette, and it's not the first of the day. I think that's probably just because they are nervous, and I have to say I am too. I'm just going to measure the heat and the seismic activity now, so let's have a look at that. Yep. Yep, it's tepid, maybe even so far as to say lukewarm. And there's not really any rumblings now, but I have to say there were some earlier and they were scary. Maybe an 8, maybe even an 8.5 on Aberystwyth's graphometer of seismic activity, which we'll have a look at now. We fed those results now into a computer back at Aberystwyth's studio where they've predicted what will happen to within 1% of inaccuracy. Let's watch that now while I wet my pants. <laughs> Essential sprinkling of appreciation, Simon. So that wraps up another episode of Abba Wrist Watch. Join us next time for a special Halloween episode. I've been Chris Steer. And I've been Chris Pickford. That's been Simon Barber. Oh shit! Oh shit! See you next time. <laughs>